TheSmokingGun.com reports that two roommates at an assisted living facility in Clearwater, Florida, got into a fight over what to watch on their TV. Reruns of Monk are cartoons. Now, this sounds like a rerun of The Odd Couple. The Monk fan, Glenn Hutchinson, allegedly hit his roommate over the head with a cane. Oh, no. Yeah. Caned him. Now, they should have turned on TCM and watched The Cane Mutiny. Yeah. Makes huh. Anyway, they didn't like that one. <laughs> Hutchinson claimed his roommate attacked him first by driving into his leg with his motorized scooter. That'll get you dander up every oh, time. Oh, every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. I mean, it sounds like they'd both been watching too many Tom and Jerry cartoons, honestly. <laughs> Neither man was seriously injured, but Hutchinson got charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and jailed in lieu of a $5,000 bond. Man. And reports say that his roommate was charged with hit and rerun. <laughs> <laughs> now, the good news is the jail has a TV. Yeah. Bad news is Hutchinson's cellmate likes cartoons. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I mean, this is one for the ages. Yeah. Two guys in an assisted living center. They need some assistance, don't they? Yeah, I'd be dangerous with one of those scooters. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm glad you reminded me of that. I'm not going to let you get one. I've decided. Uh, no way. Hey, Keith, do you know how to make everybody happy when you're watching TV? Uh, turn on this show. I guess. That's the is ticket that right there. I Put you on this show. That. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, I've got opinions, but have I ever hit you over the head with them? Well, not physically. But okay, well, there you go. Right, Trey? Yeah. I might take a mic stand or something and swing at you, but I wouldn't do that. Any more questions. <laughs> Next up, humans and animals go head-to-head -to, -head to find out who is dumber. First up, competing for the animals, we have this raccoon in Pomona, New York, that was so intent on eating something out of a tin can from someone's garbage the little raccoon got his head stuck in the can. Mm -mm. Now, an officer kept trying to yank the can off, but it was stuck so tight, he just kept throwing the poor raccoon for a loop over <laughs> and over. I mean, he looked more like Rocky the Flying Squirrel than Rocky Raccoon. Finally, the cop grabbed it with the tail on one end, pulled the can off the other end, and it was free. <laughs> <laughs> Probably to go do it again if I know raccoons. Watch this. Oh, wow. Did, did he not fly off there or not, huh? I hope he's been vaccinated. Huh? I hope he has, too. <laughs> Are you talking about the raccoon or the... the uh, uh, either uh, one. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> now, competing for the human team, we have the ca cameraman at the Tokyo Olympics. He was covering women's field hockey between Spain and Argentina, but he must have found that his, maybe that was as exciting as I would because he became transfixed by a cockroach that wandered onto the field. And when the director tried to cut to his camera shot, viewers saw the cockroach instead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> that clip racked up over 5 million views on Twitter. Wow. Which is more than the entire Olympics so far. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe we ought to try it on this show. I maybe. Think. Show the cockroaches. Yeah. Anyway, the cockroach is now one of the biggest stars to come out of the Tokyo Games. He's been called the first athlete to represent anthropods. Unfortunately, he was disqualified from women's field hockey for having an unfair advantage, six legs. <laughs> but, Keith, you'll love this. In an unexpected twist, it was able to get reinstated by identifying as a woman. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I've, I've felt for years that anthropods were not correctly identified on the Olympics. Well, now they are. They could have a whole category, anthropods. Anthropods in the Olympics, why not? Well, and now from Hingham, Massachusetts, the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. Who was squirrelier? The squirrel that ran directly in front of a teenage driver? Or the teenager who swerved to miss the squirrel and drove right through the front wall of a historic house built by Abraham Lincoln's great-grandfather? Oh. Now, that house stood for nearly 400 years before it met the number one most destructive force of nature, a teenager <laughs> with a car. Ooh. Very destructive. Ooh. Well, I can't tell who won, but I think all of us who had to listen to these stories definitely lost this round. And I'm thinking I'd better wrap this up before our cameramen start looking for bugs to take pictures of and put on the show. <laughs> You've given them an idea. I know it. But until next time, always remember, we read the news. So you don't have to.
two. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.